Hello kids, welcome to the Bible Spot. Today we are spotlighting the word perseverance. What does perseverance mean and how does it help us when life is tough? Let's see if we can find the answer in today's video clip. Roll it! Ian, Ian, Ian. His story is one of perseverance and hope, and his name is Nick Vojcic. Born in 1982 in Brisbane, Australia, Nick was born without arms or legs. Although his body was different, his parents realized that his mind and spirit were just as sharp and alive as any other young boy. Even though Nick has no limbs, he has touched thousands in ways deeper than a hand ever could. He himself is a living witness to not giving up when life brings the unexpected. Nick has faced the obstacles that living without limbs brings head on, participating in activities that many would say are impossible for a man with his limitations. Nick has not only learned to do many of the everyday things, he has worked hard to enjoy the recreational side of life as well. While Nick's physical feats are impressive, it is his passion for encouraging others that is most remarkable. You see, it's very hard to smile sometimes in life. There are things that happen that you don't know and you don't understand and you don't know if you're going to get through it. You know, you go through your storms in life and you don't know how long this storm is going to be. And today I want to share with you some principles that I've learned in my life that you can use in yours. Good morning. Nick travels all over the U.S. and the world, encouraging youth and adults alike to never give up. His perspective is powerful. Nick's story is far from over but it could have been much different. His faith has given him the perseverance to get up, even if he had to use something besides hands to get him there. If you said faith, you were right. It takes faith to endure tough times. In 1 Thessalonians 3, Paul tells us that tribulation, or tough times, brings about perseverance or endurance. And in checking in on the new converts in 1 Thessalonians 3, Paul discovered that they had found faith and love and they were growing in the Lord. The chapter teaches us three important things. Number one, we have joy in knowing that God loves us when things are tough. Number two, the key to being a true follower of Jesus Christ is loving everyone, even when they make it tough on us. And the third one is relationships matter. Our relationship with Jesus Christ determines our relationships with each other. Even those who make it tough on us, like bullies. Like Nick in our video, enduring tough situations makes our faith strong and unbearable and helps us to do the impossible. The new converts in 1 Thessalonians 3 were enduring tough times, and their faith was becoming unbreakable. Today, I want to celebrate two new converts who became followers of Jesus Christ in the last few months. They are, are you ready? William Sullivan and Jubal Biondi. Let's celebrate and welcome them to the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! That is today's Bible Spot.